it's the most wonderful time of the year with still some Halloween lurking over here. Here's a little intro until I get one professionally done. Like, comment, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Today we are in Webster, New York, outside of Lowe's because I have heard rumors that Christmas stuff is out. Now, I love me some Halloween, but Christmas, Christmas is where it's at. Like, Halloween's here, but Christmas is way up here. I don't know. Christmas has always been my favorite. I love Halloween. I can't talk any smack about Halloween, but Christmas! It's the most magical time of the year. So we're gonna head into Lowe's and see the Christmas stuff. So let's go. Apparently, if you don't want Christmas or Halloween, you can also buy a golf cart. I didn't know, here, so for $9,000, you can leave here. You can drive away in a four-wheel drive, two-year warranty, dual A-arm suspension, fully accessorized golf cart. Yeah, I never really questioned where you buy a golf cart, but I guess the answer is Lowe's. Oh, it looks like we still have some pumpkins here to choose from. More pumpkins located in the garden center. So yeah, there's lots of pumpkins. I haven't carved a pumpkin in a little while. I kind of want to, I kind of miss it. Jacob brought me a pumpkin from one of the many haunts that he's gone to, but it's a little guy that I can't carve. This one, this one says specifically that it's a carving pumpkin. Oh, and right beside the pumpkins, we have little Christmas trees and little stakes for plants. Maybe Christmas trees. They're Christmas tree shaped, but here, here we have legit Christmas trees, living Christmas trees, and they're, they're kind of tiny, but I like it. It's in a little pot. It would definitely like spruce up the Christmasiness of the house. So no artificial, no one that you went and cut in the woods. Here you can have it year round. It says shrubs in red pots. I'm not even sure if this is a Christmas tree. It may just be a shrub, but I'm gonna I'm gonna deem it Christmas. Here we go. I can already see the Christmas goodness. So here we go. You can see there's a couple different Santas here. Ooh, it says they're animated. Is there a button we can press maybe? <gasps> Look at this Bumble Blomo. Oh, and Santa has a little knapsack here with a little bear, a present for a good boy or girl. <gasps> there's a Rudolph Blomo. Oh no, I think this video is going to be a lot of, oh, look at this, look how cute, look how festive. All right, I think the button may be right on him. Is that going to work? No, Santa, you're not going to work for us. Let's try this Santa. Maybe this Santa wants to be jolly. I don't even know if this is a button or like an actual button on him, like for his shirt. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get Santa to work, but oh look, you can have a mailbox for the North Pole Express and send Santa letters. This archway overhead is also quite magical. So it looks like Jacob and I will take turns decorating. He can decorate for Halloween with all his spookiness. I have some as well. And then me, the house will be overrun for Christmas. We have some super cute reeds here. This one's cute. It has a candle inside and then there's these ornaments. They're giant. Look at it compared to the size of my hand. These are, oh here's one that's out of the bag. That's a giant ornament. I would need a giant tree. Yeah, like the tree over here. There's some more colors, more. Oh, these look like the ornaments my grandmother left me. A lot of them are broken. I've noticed that a lot of vintage stuff, vintage stuff is coming back 
whether it be Halloween or now Christmas. Oh my goodness, look at this flag for your house. Look at this cat. I tried dressing Cammie in a reindeer costume years ago and she, she was not having it. But, oh, there's a little dog too and a little Christmas hat. Oh my goodness, look at these pugs. Look how festive. There's all kinds of fun flags here. Here's that dog again. There's, oh, look at this. There's a little chipmunks or prairie dogs. I'm really digging these little animals. Like, <laughs> you could have any animal be festive. Oh, here we go. I guess we've run out of animals. There's a little snowman. That's a bit more on par for what you expect for Christmas. These animals, though, they're really cute. Speaking of animals, look at this guy. Look at this little terrier with the little antlers. And then there's a little reindeer right next to it. Oh, look! It says it's a pop-up moose. This is not a moose. This is definitely a reindeer. Even if it's a moose for Christmas, it is a bona fide reindeer. Like, any moose at Christmas time <laughs> is now a reindeer. Oh my goodness, look. Look at this crab. It's all festive. Look at this little buck teeth. What on earth is going on? It would not be a Jenny Penny video if I didn't find a festive hat, which we have found here. There's some more hats over here. I, I'm a big fan of this one. What else do we have? We have our typical Santa hat. We have a pink one with a little tiara. That's pretty adorable. This one, oh, that's what I'm wearing now with the antlers, the like Santa type hat that I don't know what they're called, but um, my dad always wore a hat like this when he was snow blowing, so I consider it like a snow blowing hat. Yet there's all kinds of fun options. What else do we have here? We have a nutcracker. We have a reindeer, this cute little bear with another lantern. Oh, and there's a little bear lurking down here with a little truck. Oh, there's a couple different kinds of dogs too. Look, this one has the little lights that's probably chewing them and they're probably not gonna work <laughs> very long because the dog chewed through them. Oh, they're called fluffy doodle light. Oh, it's a fluffy doodle dog. Oh, I call Cammy Doodle, so I was like, oh, it's a doodle. Here we have another couple of Christmas deer. We're gonna call them reindeer again because even regular white-tailed deer are reindeer for the Christmas season. Oh, there's also this majestic peacock. I'm not sure if this is Christmassy, but it's certainly pretty. And there's some presents in this fun pearl tone. Ooh, and look at this sleigh. It's so glittery and pretty. Oh, and there's a reindeer in the same color tone to pull the sleigh and this tree. I really, really like this. This is super pretty. Oh, we found another little Christmas dog. This one's a corgi. If we go over here, there's the polar bear and its cub. Why are these all so cute? Oh, and I've seen these before. You're supposed to put them on and it does something special with the lights. I wonder if I could put it in front of the camera lens and it does anything. Is there a real difference here? It's a little brighter. Here we have a cute little snowman family being juggled there. I'm not even sure how this snowman's able to carry his children like that, so I, I give him credit. Oh, and look at the flamingo and <laughs> this owl. There's some definite strange animals here that are celebrating Christmas, like that <laughs> crab, for example. And look at this reindeer as a nutcracker. Everything is so cute. So this Christmas tree here is similar to the one that I have. It has this snow type stuff. It doesn't have the acorns. I like that. And Here's a few more. Oh, here's like a little mini one. I do want to get more than one Christmas tree for the house eventually. So there's like a little baby guy. What else do we have here? We have some more traditional ones. Here's another one that's all snowy. Ooh, and then this one's giant. You can see how tall it is up here. Oh, I like this tree too. This one has the tiny acorns and then these little like balls. I'm not sure what you would call those in nature, but yeah, these are really pretty. This one has 
the leaves that are thicker. I guess they wouldn't be called leaves. The needles that are thicker that you see. Here's another snowy guy. Oh, I found even more trees. Well, this one's bright. That one has some big bulbs on it. So many trees. I want them all. I want a forest of Christmas trees in the house. This one's 12 feet tall. That's a big guy. Oh, and then you can see all the trees piled up here. So you can grab and take them home and love them for years to come. I actually need a new tree skirt. I had a Star Wars one, but the cats clawed it to death. So these ones are more like collars. I assume they're for real trees because you'd have the base there for the water. And I think that's to make it a, lit, a bit more pretty. Ooh, and look at these icicle lights. Apparently, I just like all the bright lights, no matter what they are. Vegas, Christmas, more trees. I will say, they have quite the selection here. When I was looking for a tree, oh, look at this one. What is going on? This one has giant bulbs that glow. I really like this one. I don't even know if there would be room for ornaments on this one. But yeah, what I was saying before was that when I was looking for a tree, there definitely wasn't this crazy selection. I still want to get the lights that go to music. I don't have those, but they are installed on the tree. There's also an apple core down here. Like someone was just having a snack and left it by the Christmas trees. That's, that's pretty gross. Here's the lights I was talking about that go to music. It says you can see it in action. I can't get the button to press quite right. But yeah, you can sync it to Bluetooth. Oh, there we go. It's starting to show here. Look how cool that is. You can send it to music. This is goals. This is seriously what I want at some point for a house. Oh, and they have little lights that just go along and project different scenes that's easy to set up i was already telling jacob like so you're gonna hang up the lights on the house right and he agreed i don't know if he's thrilled about it but this this would be an easier way though i do definitely still want lights on the house more christmas so it looks like they're still setting everything up since we're here early but look more lights! Those ones are for your driveway to lead the path. I'm I'm a sucker for all these lights. It's just official. I just get happy seeing all of these. <gasps> look at these little plush guys that go outside. There's a Santa and look at the little reindeer. I want to cuddle with it so much. There's an ornament and more lights up top. They just keep going. And I know I said they have every animal, it seems, for Christmas. And look, here's a little piggy. Oh, look at this happy Christmas tree. Look at its little face. This is ridiculous. I love this all so much. Oh, and look at this guy. What is this guy? He's like this green dinosaur type guy. He's a little candy cane and a hat. Here's a better look at him. Look, he's licking the little candy cane that's super cute. Oh, and look at the bumble here. He has little horns. It seems like yetis are increasingly um, getting horns on their head, but he, he is up here, but it looks like he took a tumble. Are you okay, Bumble? He fell down. Let's see what else we have here in the blow up section. We have some Santas, there's a little pug, there's a lot of dogs from what we've seen. Oh, there's a baby Groku, Mickey and Minnie. Oh, these are cute little snowman versions of them. There's an Eeyore and a Minion and Stitch. Oh, and look at Alf at the North Pole with his tongue stuck. I'm a big fan of the Jack in the Box snowman here. Oh, and look at all the friends. I'm clearly a sucker for all of this stuff. We have the Grinch, who's one of my favorites. Oh, we have an alligator. Jacob would love an alligator for the front lawn. Maybe that's how I get him on board with Christmas. I just buy things that he'd like. So we have like a Fiji mermaid decorated for Christmas, a dinosaur. 
Oh my goodness, look at this chipmunk. Look at its cheeks. It's so full. And look at this Yeti. His expression is so silly. Oh, and look at this one. I found another dinosaur. Santa's delivering your presents on a dinosaur. Oh, I know I said I liked that arch before, but look, there's a welcome to Whoville arch. Mickey and Minnie in a car. Santa and a reindeer in a car. And I found even more blow molds. So we have Snoopy, we have the Bumble we saw before. There's the Grinch, Scooby-Doo. Oh, and over here, these aren't blow molds, but there's a Grinch and he's super cute and soft. And then Bumble, way over here. Come here, Bumble. Bumble, look how cute he is. And I showed the projection guys before, but this one is a Grinch head that projects right out of there. So you can just hang up your Grinch head as a decoration and then it shines the stuff on the wall. So it's two designs or two decorations in one. What does this guy do? And they're hanging their stockings. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. It looks like it's a countdown to Christmas. That's pretty cool. Usually I have an advent calendar, but it's the digital age. What do you do? These are all so cute. There's a minion one here. Maybe we can just get them all going at once. There's a Frosty, which I like too. Are you gonna work Frosty? Oh, there we go. He's working a little bit. We have Snoopy. Rudolph! Oh my goodness, the music is crazy. We have a Grinch protection. We have Frosty. And Rudolph. Okay, I may have a new favorite thing. Look at Dumbo in the little hat with the little candy cane. And I've said before that it seems like they just take like a regular character and throw a hat on him and then it's Christmassy and usually I'm against it. I feel like there should be more things done to make it Christmassy, but I'll make an exception for Dumbo. Like for example, look at these guys. They are super Christmassy. These two, they're little snowmen. Dumbo here just has a hat and a candy cane, but I love him so I will make an exception. Oh, they have really cute stockings too. There's this little Rudolph. Oh, his little nose lights up and he sings. What does the Grinch do? Come here, Mr. Grinch. Here we go. Oh, he plays the song. The song that he should be playing. Oh, and this is similar to the Grinch one we saw earlier that projects the lights and acts as a decoration by itself. Here below the stockings you can see some more blow molds. We have a Minnie who, okay, Minnie is not Christmassy at all. Mickey is in a hat with a present, but Minnie is just Minnie. I'm not sure, maybe, yeah, that's, she's, okay, Minnie over here is very Christmassy. So if you want Christmas <laughs> Disney, I guess you would go with these. If you just want regular Disney, you get that Minnie. Here's another Mickey and Minnie in their winter accessories. And then we have the plush versions of the snowmen. Oh, what do these guys do? I'm a big fan of the duet. These made me laugh. So the little snowflakes are little styrofoam balls. So it's getting stuck to each of them. So it'll fling around. There it goes, kinda. There's a few there. It seems like they're all stuck to them. How does this one go? Okay, that one has a bit more snow. Okay, I found a couple more LED friends. So here we have Mickey. He's in a wreath. Very festive, I approve. 
And then here it says Disney princesses. Are they festive or is it just a festive background? Belle's a little festive. All right, we'll give this one a maybe. Here we have some ornaments that are super cute. They're glittery. I'm a big fan of lights and glitter, obviously. All of these are super glittery. Oh, you can get them in like any color apparently. It's just the same set, just whichever color matches your decor. Okay, I found even more blow molds. I can't quite get to them because like I said, they're still um, stocking. There's this big like forklift type guy in front of me, but you can see there and then up here, look, there's even a fa la 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 llama. And then here, maybe the crispiest of all is that a is that a word christmasiest it is now the little christmas villages that i so much want to build maybe not this one but i want to create one maybe have it be like a theme park something like that this one's cute it has a little lobster hut so maybe i just oh and boat tours okay this is kind of what i'm looking for oh and you can see along the top here that they have our little friends. Oh, there's the dinosaur we were looking at. Yeah, all the little guys that um, were in the boxes that I showed you before are up here, including the giant bumble. That one's mostly upright, unlike its friend in the other aisle. And there's a few more, including that archway I like so much. Pennywise, Pennywise, what happened to your balloon? Is Christmas taken over and now you don't you're, you're, you're not wanted, your stuff isn't working so great. Here, 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 you can have an, a red ornament instead. Do you think that would be good? There you go. Yeah, instead of your balloon, you have an ornament. Or maybe this guy. Maybe this guy needs a shiny ornament head. See, we can combine both holidays, right? So that was Lowe's and I love all the Christmas stuff. I'm such a sucker for the glittery pretty things. <laughs> I'm excited. It probably won't be this Christmas at the house that I'll be able to decorate a lot, but definitely next Christmas. I feel like this December, since I'm moving at the end of November, it's going to be a bunch of unpacking and I'll be able to get the tree up, but that may be about it. So next year, like for Halloween this year, we couldn't put up the skeleton and we're not going to be able to put up a lot of Christmas stuff since I'll still be unpacking. It'll be chaotic and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So next year, next year I want Winter Wonderland and it will happen and I am excited about it since right now I don't have a lawn since I rent. So Jacob has a lawn and so therefore it will be lovely. It will be like Christmas threw up all over. <laughs> So thank you for watching. I have a cameo, I have a Patreon. I'm going to hope to make as many videos as I can. Um, you guys all know the drill. I'm in the middle of moving. Um, it's chaotic, so there's no real schedule. We'll, we'll, we'll just have um, <laughs> videos while we can. So thank you for watching. I guess that's it for now. Bye.